All right, welcome back again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Raptor versus Bolt Sauce. You know the drill. Made a deck change here, removing something and adding something here. Motorized uh, motor shoots in rather with the BMP2C with auto cannons, which means insta victory. So until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend. Password pimp hands wrong. We'll see you. Bye. Oh wait, never mind. Yes, there's still a game to be played. The power of uh, auto cannons now really being known through this game. I've uh, not seen a lot of players uh, use it except for on the terms of NATO with the variety, especially the Germans. They've always had a really good selection of auto cannons. So uh, we're going to we're going to run right in and uh, fight immediately with uh, with all of our stuff. We're going to go right with auto cannons. And we're going to see if we can go through town. Uh, this is going to be a real uh, interesting fight here. I'm not, you know, I think victory is out of the picture now, and it really doesn't matter because I really want to see how to defeat these uh, auto cannons and such. They're so specific, and Bolt Sauce isn't going to have the huge advantage of being able to flank anymore, other than he well, obviously he's going to do it, but it won't be on both sides. Clearly, I don't know, the Germans might be able to find cover out there somewhere, but anyway, with this being here, we should be able to. I'm going to try to get immediate dominance in the center of the map and uh, really overwhelm them. And uh, no more use of uh, no more use of uh, FJB40 or any of this expensive crap that just ends up dying. We also got rid of uh, we did get well we do we have the two by the way. We discarded the um, got rid of the motor or the reserve shoots and, and one of the or one of the fobs. So that's that. Alright, uh, we're going to go ahead and get one of these down. Hide it right inside there. MIT will go to Anna or Center, probably. It's not going to be good. We'll go to Anna, though, to get the extra points, and then we'll send up uh, all of our motor shoots and up there. So his deck's uh, really good, primarily thinking uh, for the infantry sense, and of course, uh, that's uh, been very good. So. Uh, again, it doesn't come down to who's the better player or not. In fact, if I would have had that deck and he would have had this deck, he would have been SOL in some situations as well. So really, it's, it comes down more to the deck and the familiar fam familiarity with the maps rather than just uh, like downright, uh, you know, skill and everything. We're both very skilled. That's why I'm a little frustrated and disappointed that we're not doing so good. And uh, some of the map, some of them have been closer, but there's been a clear winner, and it does show that you got to use those auto cannons if you're NATO. But I don't want to see 30,000 um, auto cannon decks, you guys. Come on, there's other weapons you can use, and the Leopard 2A, whatever, is not an auto cannon just because it can fire super fast. You guys, come on. All right, so we're gonna roll immediately into battle. We're gonna cap the side and look for flanks immediately. Gonna be a good old-fashioned European escalation steamroll. I've been afraid to advance in the past, but now it's time we just go all in and all up in his face, yo. Dimitri's immediately gonna have a thousand infantry there. In fact, there's already Fliegerfaust and ATGMs everywhere here. So that's what that situation is gonna look like. And or, or there may be a battle at uh, at uh, at or around the area here. Interestingly enough, our uh, Vehicles have chosen to take multiple. De Look, what what kind of pathing is that? Did you see that? These vehicles chose to go this way, and then uh, went a different direction. That's really ridiculous. Anyway, we know uh, we're going to encounter f smoking. It's going to take him a little bit of time to get into position, but we're going to set up our troops and get our super expensive gold-plated transports out of the way. Again, that's another big downfall of ours: is all the expensive transports that really can't be used for battle, unlike his. So, uh, anyway, time to roll. Alright, his infantry's moving up slowly but surely. Some sort of flank has already, be already begun. Specialty infantry to go around the sides. The row were already shot down by the uh, by the uh, aircraft or anti-aircraft. 
Minecraft missile launchers there with Flieger Faust. Well, now we'll see how our auto cannons do. We have to go for speed, so this is why I haven't captured much other than uh, those flanks. We should have had the retreat and such, but uh, no can do it at the moment. Aircraft are panicking now. Troops are trying to get into multiple positions. These don't carry anything, but those do. We'll stop them there with some units. BMP should have been behind. We've lost that now. Otto von Cannon is coming up. Transports up the ass. This is what we should have done previously. Oh, delicious Jaeger. getting ready to block. Come in, bro. Tornado IDS is up. No kills there. Leopard 2 is playing. Don't worry, our auto cannons. Don't worry. Look at those auto cannons. All right, four auto cannon hits. That was fantastic, you guys. I hope you guys are watching those auto cannons. Now his uh, command had to flee over here somewhere. Didn't mean for that unit to get exposed. We'll just dump off the infantry. We gotta find a command quick. He's gaining too many points. Don't worry, auto cannons, there, buddy. Auto cannon. Woo! Now I want everyone to relax. We've got auto cannons. Alright, now we finally. Oh, does he have auto cannons? Damn it, where are our auto cannons? Oh, there's our auto cannons. Alright, we need auto cannons though. Nope, auto cannons fire. Okay, the Bopa is firing its auto cannons. Not even able to stun that helicopter with our auto cannons. Oh, there we go, our auto cannon got it. All right, we're gonna go with MiG 29s now. Uh, we should have found that command; it was around there somewhere. Our flame troops shouldn't have been defeated so easily, and that command fled somewhere immediately, but it should have been found, no problem. I don't know what happened to all of our auto cannon auto cannons.
Oh, routing already? Look at that. How'd you get behind how do you get behind you? Oh there you go, you're gonna break that. Well, I'm sure that really threw off his plans, but he's definitely going to be flanking at some point. We need to get all of our uh, transports back. This transport, by the way, can go and find uh, the command, the infantry command somewhere that we should have gotten. So in a perfect world, Gregory would have been cut off, and so you see speed and autocannons, I guess, are where it's at. That's a despo right there. Alright, we've captured a fob here, but unfortunately that Jaeger's gonna get us. Yeah, so German infantry greatly, or the West German infantry greatly outmatch uh, East Germany and the variety that he can call out. But you can see he was caught off uh, guard there. And uh, unfortunately we weren't able to get Gregory. We would have been able to cause some problems there. But that's it. So at least, uh, so by that uh, sort of attack, we were able to actually uh, do some real damage. And uh, throw off his plan. I didn't want him to do the same thing with autocannons. We had to get our own autocannon fun in there. I think we're even now, everyone. So pretty good. So I'll have to make my uh, own East German decks in the future, and uh, again, I, but this is this deck is uh, it really is more for supporting other players, not good all on its own. East Ger I believe the Eastern Bloc really, even with all these changes, is really a support heavy support uh, deck. It can bring in the heavy AA or specialized infantry um, to to block, so it's more of a of a of a real blocking power. Actually, you try to get into Elena. I'll guarantee you every single infantry that he dropped off is still there, but the number of uh, transports we killed was was great. And now we've uh, kind of um, created this false sense of uh, power over him that we really don't have. You know, now he, he must think that we've got some sort of huge defense if we were able to go on that sort of an attack. He'll attack eventually, but he's going to have to get back together after all that. So I'm pretty proud of that given the fact that the previous times it was Flieger Faust up the ass. It's probably about, this entire mountain is actually not mountains, but it's just like a bunch of, uh, it's a bunch of Panzer Grenadiers standing on each other's shoulders. Now we will have a rematch coming up soon enough, so for those of you who aren't satisfied, uh, there will be plenty more to go. This is not over, and we'll have to play against each other more often in the future. This was co co kind of more of an introductory thing these uh, past few times that we've played, so... Uh, looks like there's infantry that's Oscar Grouch to the uh, Sturm Pioneer. And again, I'm call I've am i called out a lot of units that are reliant upon other units, but again, I, I really didn't make the deck. That's why he gave me the advantage of building with some other stuff. I really wanted to be at a disadvantage for once, though, and give the kid a chance. You guys. Give Peace and Bolt Sauce a chance, you guys. Oh, what was that, Auto Cannon? Alright, we've got the uh, Yago Cannon moving across the Auto Bridge. Now these, yeah, the pioneers themselves can't really kill anything. It's got to be in combina uh, in conjunction with, uh, it's got to be in conjunction with other uh, forces. Motor shoots in here though, doing a real good job. There'll be a blocking force in there at some point. And he's got his, uh, his uh, sneaker around, so we'll go take that down. And we'll see if we can do a lure and skewer. He won't fall for it, though. This is uh, one fun thing I don't ever get to do. Yeah, the jumping with infantry, that's something that's really... What in the fuck? Oh, we were actually able to kill that for once. the ridiculous amount of uh, aircraft he has too. Oh, 
Oh, damn. Were we able to kill Balsam Jaegers there? Oh. Yeah, we're only down to nine men, so we better pull back there. And we'll have to push the attack. Alright, so we usually don't get that kind of fun. Yep, Rico. Oh, that is such BS, the, that recon being able to see like that. I never, oh man, I can never do that. Damn. Let's see if we can take a shot at him and piss him off. He knows that there's AA there, though. He's got to. Of course, these are all just 70 point units with crazy insta ack. And he's still able to come around the flank with false meagers. It's about a thousand dollars in uh, transports there. Man, I don't give a shit about the woods. If if uh, ten of these units have machine guns and they're all firing at false meagers, they are pinned down. There is no way that they're going to be doing any of this flanking shit. Like this is some Normandy beat shit. And I know these guys are trained, but no way, man. It all comes down to the transports, and I'm not moving them either just to show you exactly what kind of losses we take here. Yeah, so... Wow, so really accurate, crazy, affordable aircraft, um, you know, false Jaegers that can kill 38 transports, and we have, unfortunately, very expensive transports. Are they still fighting down there? I'd hope not. We do have our autocannons ready, though. Autocannons. Oh, yeah, they're still fighting down there. So now he gets to do what he finally wanted to do. Come on now, just call him out. So we have the motor shoots, and we should have had the whole time. And some other goodies, but uh, of course the MIG is going to go in the wrong direction. Where's the other one? Geez, sometimes you... If it was World in Conflict, we'd, we need a map within a map. Anyway, so now it's our turn to hold for the uh, gigantic um, flank like that. I'm, we really made a good move in attacking him early like that. That really put a lot of pressure on him to change his plan and do a couple of different things, but yet still having points to do everything else, so he must have sabotaged this deck, you guys. Oh my god, conspiracy. Oh my god, conspiracy. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to do more 1v1s in the future with the, you know, like more tested decks. Again, this is the first time I'm playing with the deck, and it's the first time that I'm really, you know, playing with the new stuff. It's a new deck. It's a new day. It's a new opponent. He's very skilled. He's probably played with this deck a lot and really uh, exploit. And I shouldn't say exploited, but taken advantage of the um, of the auto cannons and of all the uh, of all the um, automatic uh, weapon systems that really engage uh, the enemy real well. And, uh, like, as you'd seen before, I mean, auto cannons and anything that fires automatically is just crazy, insta-accurate, doesn't really need to do much to do its job, and, uh, unfortunately, all... Uh, this is why the Soviet Union went bankrupt. Unfortunately, they had, uh... Unfortunately, they had, um... Golden transports. So that's a real shame. Anyway, we'll overtake these guys now and kick down the door. Come on, boys, just get in the damn house. Alright, and in the back we've got a helicopter, so we'll shoot that down. 
He's just peeking for the, uh, peeking for the command. And he sees it. So now we'll just move it. Martyrs are gonna... Man, martyrs should just be called, like... Like, he's just gonna go all the way through the forest with these, by the way. Oh, too bad our don't command doesn't have any, uh... Oh, he's been uh, very good at sneaking by with stuff. It's uh, hilarious how I haven't even put this command in there. But anyway, this was all for fun, by the way. This was for you guys to kind of show that... Uh, you know, I'm not the best in the world and neither is Bolt, but we definitely love this game and we love your guys' support and the community as well. You know, I could be yelling at Bolt Sauce and stuff, but this is an opponent I respect and this is someone, you know, that's great to subscribe to and great to watch. And I'm good. I'm not very good. I'm good. I'm not uh, excellent or uh, what's the, uh, how does it say it in the game? Uh, I'm not exceptional. I'm just a guy who likes to play the game. And I like to win. I like to kick the computer's ass, more importantly. And by the way, what the hell happened with that DLC? Where the hell's the new campaign? Motor shoots and damn, they're kicking ass. They've uh, held a lot longer than I thought they would. Oh, we got our auto cannons ready. He's got a lot. Of, oh, too bad. We, well, we need more auto cannons, though. Damn, I need more auto cannons. We'll just go right back in there and recapture that. <laughs> All right. So, uh, oh yeah, we lost some of that motor shoots in there. I wonder if this Panther Grenadier will will fall. It's going to be pretty even. Two groups are panicked here. One group's worried and shaken there. Yep, that's what it'll be. Auto cannon, bitch! Automatic tank gun. Hell yeah. These are auto cannons, you guys. Another auto cannon. Yeah. Alright, about 12 more shots, and they should be able to hit one target. By the way, Bolt Sauce said he constructed his decks around the fact that uh, ATGMs are just a no-go anymore. They're just not good. They're just not worth it. Alright, so we'll pull back a little bit here and uh, we'll recap Anna and we'll come in from that flank. And we'll uh, lay down the law with some uh, blockers. Yes! Auto cannons! 20... 30 millimeter versus 20 millimeter. Unfortunately, I got you beat, bro. I've got a bravado cannon, baby. Again and again and again and again and again and again. Beating that ass. Of course, those are only 70 points, so no, no cheering there for if those get shot down. They won't. They're just missile wasters. Missile way, but missile miss. Oh, they really put the miss in missile, don't they? Much more proud of how we played this time, though. We're just killing ten, five-point transports. Now he can move house to house here, which he might do, but he's not getting through with the martyrs. All right, so F4F is coming through, motor shoots in and such. We're gonna need to hold and get as many points as possible. Oh, that cub is just, or the cub's out of range of that, just by a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, I like how we're turning everything into a fortress. It's really cool. And we're parked right next to our fob as well. Martyr back into the forest. drive our command right back into the center of town. Alright, so yeah, so this was a ton of fun to play. Very frustrating with the deck and locking into the decks. He clearly had the advantage, so of course I could have easily come back and kicked his ass the next round, and then it could have been 
a real tie-up. But uh, we put in these special rules, and I really wanted to w see him win and have him win and have you guys see what he can do. And, you know, there's no there's no doubt that he's a very good player, but uh, it's really about how you make your decks. So I should advertise a little bit, too. Check out my What the Deck series as well, where I teach you the basics, and then Bolt Sauce and some of his uh, series goes into much more detail about everything. And this, by the way, you're seeing now why the Conquerors has frustrated him. It's not so bad to attack with Conquerors against um, heavier tanks, but in this in this sense, it's ridiculous. I mean, trying to kill 15-point transports with ATGMs will probably be effective, but the Conquerors are just they're just they're not going to work out. So Panzer Grenadiers and the uh, Wub 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 are negotiating right now. Apparently, this guy was running past the house and then just teleported inside. So there goes center. By the way, I think it, when it I thought when it said one, there means it means there's two men behind or something like that. So yeah. So anyway, so th there's been some real good battles in this game altogether, and it, I really liked seeing what possibilities there are to counter this. And there's really not in terms of of just using this deck. Uh, you know, I could have used a ton of tanks at the start, which I did. Uh, I tried to use all the typical tactics that you would, and uh, we're. I guess this was kind of a makeshift way of testing out the auto cannons and everything. They're extremely effective and they're extremely fun. Elite infantry, auto cannons, and aircraft are all you need to really be effective in this game. Or, you know, in this in, in this terms of a 1v1. He must have some sort of AA ready, so we'll go ahead and pop him here. Missile darting to the left for no reason. And finally a kill there, FJB sp spotting the Jaeger. MIT ready as well. He'll bring up um, some of his... Uh, uh, you know, actually we need, we need some more of these grenade launchers. Yeah, so... Good patience, by the way. So again, so I, I don't always... I do not play these 40 minute ones. I did not make this deck. I uh, agreed to that lock and rule that I think I made up as well. So don't think ill me of me uh, ill of me now just because I won and or I lost and publicized it doesn't mean I don't always win. You guys know how good I am and how good Bolt is. We need to team up more, damn it. I don't play with him enough either these damn time differences. He's way up past his bedtime too. So uh there you go. But you see why his attack hasn't come yet. There's there's a very big problem, a very big open problem that he just can't address, which is these giant open spaces in this map, or rather in this ca in this game altogether. It's it's always about infantry and mobility uh, because of these giant flanks like this. And as Bolt and I were saying earlier, it's not always about that because sometimes in this game or an airland battle, there's tank battles and there's battles between towns where one town's secured, the other town's secured, and infantry needs to battle between it. So that's really something that uh that's really something that we need to see more of. Everyone agrees on that they wanna see back again. They're worried and calm and we're calm and shaken already. So this group is done, motor shoots and are out. A little bit of the uh little bit of the uh, the skill no. what the hell's that oh never mind it's a ground based unit oh never mind it's a hell of a chopper oh it's gonna be eight. auto cannons you guys auto cannons So if he wants to come out of the woods with all those troops, he's more than welcome. But uh, in the beginnings, you've seen us play cautiously for very good reason. He's going to have to get through my last base, though. It's going to be cool. Worthless on the Avia there. Now we do have FJB and Cubs ready to roll. So we're going to leave town. 
with those. Uh, it'll come down to artillery. Only a few minutes left anyway, so. But yeah, I'm 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 thrilled with my performance. Really stellar stuff, given the fact that uh, this deck is um, very powerful with tanks. But we're not we're not fighting tanks here. We're fighting transports. Oh, I thought I told these tanks to back their asses up a little bit more. All right, FJB, you're rolling. One auto cannon, two auto cannons destroyed. And we can just kill this auto cannon. Auto cannon von Bismarck is fleeing. Transport choppers are getting ready to send infantry in. They're going to be landing there and flanking through the town. Yeah, so this was the way to do it. We're much closer in points. He's thrown a couple of aircraft at me to be nice. I'm pretty sure uh, he's not, not dumb. He wouldn't have made that mistake in the standard game. We can now engage these transports. Things. A little bit too much, I think, on those against the aircraft. That might have to be increased a little bit. Uh, the ability to miss, I think. But his troops are in place. So we'll get at least 10 more points. 15. I gotta play with the Germans more often. It's it's great because he knows, he knows the enemy. What's uh, frustrating about regular multiplayer matches you, you never know what's coming up so you can't really plan for it but after these last couple of times he knows damn well what to expect so he can counter it and so can I but that didn't really seem to factor in too much so this game mode is me is recommended to pros I suppose pros I suppose so he's just gonna keep uh, driving up like that. Bringing our auto cannons up. Now these grenade launchers are being used. Let's see how effective they are. Tanks not even able to engage. They're right in front of them. Can't see them, especially with recon right there. <laughs> I moved. I moved recon up again. This is a world's most ridiculous chess game at this moment. No line of sight, can't even hit them. Tanks are worthless in this game now, absolutely worthless. Take the category out, it should be called heavy and light transports, that's it. So again, you are seeing a little bit of the trickiness of the game. Uh, so things like that just disappear. As the attack on the right side has begun with all the Jaegers now. I wouldn't be surprised if there was more Fliegerfaust in the woods. Well, yeah, again, his attack has to be slow. We probably wait, we probably uh, blew a lot of his uh, plan at the start uh, by spreading a lot of his shit out. And uh, by going balls deep like that at the start, that was probably a really good move in order to cut him off. So you can see his plans changed a lot. The open ground. I when the you, when the uh, map list came up, by the way, I knew this would be a map that once once the city fighting was over, it would all come down to this blank spot here. And I was hoping not to get that side, and I did get lucky that way. So, I mean, at least there's that. I'm sure. Oh, there's uh, now uh, artillery coming in on the BM24s, but that's too late now. All right. So this could end in a tie. He might be being nice, but uh, I hope not. Just play to win, that's all. And we need to get uh, some of these troops replenished here. Special forces will come in from the left side now. We need some more of these special forces. 80 points for these. Uh, this um, 
you know, these recon are made more for his play style as well. So, and I know I keep saying that, but every time I'm considering everything in the, in the deck, you know, those could be some reasons too, so. Um, yeah. Hey, don't be afraid of this guy either, by the way. If you see him, don't leave the match just because he, he may be winning here. It's all about the decks, you guys. In all honesty, it's about the deck that you've created. It's about the deck. It is all about the deck you plan on using. Don't tell me he's throwing away a leap time. That's my kind of a mistake. Damn it. He's got a uh, KPZ auto cannon here. Look at all that ATGM. Look at that. Wow, no wonder he's, he doesn't want to use those. No shit, Volt Sauce. Damn, that is BS. Auto cannons are now ATGMs that are just automatic. So we're going to call those auto TGMs. No need to use, uh. No need to use freaking Conquerors anymore. Ridiculous. Those tanks should have died to that kind of crap. Wow, that is ridiculous. Those things do have auto cannons on them too. <laughs> look at look at all these helicopters we have here to try to stop those things, and it's just worthless. He's gonna mortar fire on all the transports now, so we may as well get those out of town. Kellers are up again. The Keelers. Insta kills on transports. 140 points there is going to be lost. Those things are stunned, by the way. They shouldn't be able to move. They shouldn't be able to move at all. Leaguer Foss have arrived. Yeah, get out of there, real. You can just hear it fire once or twice. It's not exposing itself as it should. The new patch notes state that uh, those things should expose themselves when they're uh, when they're spotted, or when not when they're spotted, but uh, when they fire continuously like that. But he might be limiting it. I, I don't know. Wow, frustration. Martyrs driving into town. those were goddamn grenades. Oh yes, they are using their grenade launcher. Cool. That thing is awesome. He's trying to get a lure and skewer out of us. Good break off, by the way. He knew he had to pull back, so that's what he did. He pulled back with the, um, he pulled back with the use of the, um, by calling it back to the middle and then breaking it off. So good for him. All right, special forces are now trying to come out of the woods again. Again, their helicopters are no match for them. No match for that lightly armored flesh, blood, and bone. No, don't even try, boys. It's over. Yeah, so Raptor, watch your flanks with recon more often. Raptor, do this and that. You guys are right. At least I can fall back on the hay I didn't make the deck. <laughs> At least I have that. Alright, now the Keller needs to die. BS Auto Cannon again. No clear sight that thing's uh, sticking on the the correct side of town. Uh, I swear to God. This will be the moment where you decide whether to choose ATGMs or autocannons. Romulan cloak engaged. There you go. So you can micro with just autocannons so much better than you can anything else. It's absolutely bananas. So kill transports with your autocannons. Don't worry about... Uh, Oh, don't worry about that, gentlemen. It's already gone. Look at... What the... F Ridiculous! 
the ATGM's doing that. Absolutely unacceptable. He's trying for a Fliegerfoss kill now. Look at that, ATGM just spinning off at the last second. Whoa, they really, wow, did you see that? It went right through. They have, they have ruined, they have ruined the ATGMs. That is, that needs to be fixed. And I know everyone's in agreement there. I mean, if you want to get into a town, smoke the hell out of it. Don't, uh, don't do that. Wow, that is some supreme BS. So at least we were able to tie one. He was playing nice, you guys. He wasn't... Well, then again, we did have that early attack on him. So I don't know. Anyway, everyone, boys and girls, Bolt Sauce takes the victory there in our round of three. And I owe him a beer when I visit him in the Netherlands. I planned on buying him one anyway, so the joke's on him. Don't tell him. But anyway, so there you go. There's still like a minute and 50 left, and he'll uh, pick up the attack a little bit here. But... Um, you know, it's going to be, if anything, Cubs at this moment are going to be able to take out some aircraft. He's just being nice. He, what do you, if, I, if I know Bolt Sauce, which I do, he's just now using this time to test out the four Formosa, the Force of Five on uh, certain types of, uh, against certain weapon systems to see how effective the grenades are. So grenades more effective in... Yeah, exactly. Those grenades are amazing. So obviously, um, the grenades more effective in towns than they are in forests. Again, we tried to use those against infantry in another match, and or in previous matches, and just not even worth it. Uh, auto, auto, insta detect on. Wow, I thought. Damn it! I thought I told those to move up. Son of a bitch. So there goes uh, 50 points there. Gone. Goodbye. Never to be seen again. The bravado cannons. And uh, these tanks will try to use their ATGMs, but that's just, that's ridiculous. Is this uh, 2100? Yeah. Alright, he's going to try to make his way around to try to kill that command in the last 40 seconds, but it's not going to, it's not going to crap in you guys. Let's see if we can kill these. Uh... Oh wow, that thing actually has a damn ATGM on it. What the hell's going on here? Seems to be some sort of units firing these these armored vehicles are firing singular shells what the f that is the slowest firing auto cannon i have ever seen so anyway good pushes from bolt sauce uh, a tie there i believe uh yeah it's gonna end in a drop so good congratulations bolt a real challenge with the decks but that is it so again don't attribute his vic whoa and i leveled up wow i'm level 15 see i hardly play i love the damn campaign more than the multiplayer so there you go a draw for those of you who didn't think i could do it at least there was no there's no clean wipe or anything a real challenge to me and obviously i need to uh, pick it up a little bit if i want to be a better player but uh Hell, I'm not looking to be the best. I'm just looking to give you guys the best. And you guys are the best for liking, commenting, and subscribing, not only on my channel, but please, for his victory, reward him with a like over on his video. Give him a congratulations on the last video he posts, and tell him Raptor owes you a beer with a smiley face. And be real kind to him. And be real kind to me, too, because really the community of this game is what's going to keep it chugging along, and hopefully this doesn't end up in a few years like World of Conflict got huge hopes for the new coming game if those of you who haven't heard of it there's already a new war game in the works though i shouldn't call it war game it's something else after aggression it's the new title coming soon so the boy will be have to, he'll have to done learn himself on the base buildings and uh, unfortunately bases don't move quickly so congratulations bolt sauce your pimp hand is strong and uh, i'm glad i taught you some stuff from when you watched me now you've taught me some things as well so thanks a lot for being my friend can't wait to shake your hand over there in the Netherlands. And until next time, this is Raptor reminding you to keep your passwords and pimp hands strong, baby. And, uh, yeah, take care. Bye. GG. The pimp hand is strong with this one.